All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to episode two of my one thousand to one million dollar challenge. So today we're having an absolute massive day, up seventeen point two seven percent, which is about eight hundred dollars. And this will change as the day goes on. So it's about eleven oh eight a.m. Let's take a look at our one week chart, up thirty eight percent this week. For the month, up seventy six percent. Three month, ninety two point five percent. And we started this challenge May 9th. So let's look at some of my positions here and uh, what has changed from last episode. So here we have two call credit spreads, which are a hedge against my other positions, basically. Basically, we want the NASDAQ or QQQ not to go above 380 with it by tomorrow. So if the market keeps rallying higher, this will increase in price. And if the market goes down, this will decrease in price, which we want to happen. So right now we're at negative $12. But if QQQ does not go above 380, we should be fine. So let's see if that will happen in tomorrow's episode or next week's episode. And then I have the same for SPY as well. And then for our big winners so far today, we have NVIDIA, which is a put credit spread, and we don't want NVIDIA to go below 415. And currently, the share price of NVIDIA is at 448, so we have a pretty good spread in between 415 and 448. So I'm pretty confident that this one will expire worthless is what we want. So we still have $23 in uh value to go up on this one and that expires next friday so let's go back here next one we have is amazon and this this here is a new addition i already showed amazon in the last episode we just don't want it to go below 126 and it should be fine it's going up as we speak this is a new addition to the portfolio which is a call on etsy and this is a $96 call with a break-even of 100 and it expires in August um, 4th. So we're up $58 so far. And let's take a look at the Etsy chart because I think it's personally undervalued. So today we're up 3% on Etsy, which is great. We have an uh, open call for 96 And let's look at the one-year chart of Etsy. So Etsy is up 13% this year, but... February 2nd of 2023, it was at $148 a share. So potentially after earnings, this stock can rally, and I'm excited to see what will happen. And I think earnings is before August 4th, so that's why I picked this call. And I'm, I'm hoping for a great earnings report. So let's go back. That's a new addition to the portfolio. And Google is actually doing very well for me today. And like I said in the last episode, I think Google is undervalued, in my opinion. And then today it's up for almost 4.5%. So this call has went up $325 for me today. But my total return is only 190 because I was down on it yesterday. And I think I'm going to hold this longer. I like to take my profits pretty early, you know, when I'm up about $200. But I'm pretty sure Google's going to go up. Like... I said in the last episode, this company is huge, and they have giant profits, a lot of cash, and all that, and it's only up 11% this year, when the NASDAQ's up like 34%, so I think Google still has some room to run, which is going to be great for our portfolio if it keeps going up. Um, a new position I added today was PayPal, and this is 6564 puts, which is a credit spread. So PayPal has been going up today, so this means this is going down, and I will gain $72 in, I gained $72 in credit, and um, if PayPal doesn't fall below 65 by August 4th, then I should get my collateral back as well. So that's a $72 trade if that goes in the right direction for us. Let's see next. Um, Tesla, I think I opened this one yesterday, and I, we don't want Tesla to fall below 270. This is a risky one, but I did it on purpose because 
if you get two hundred thirty five dollars in credit and you put and I put up um, five hundred bucks so it's like a fifty percent return if if Tesla stays above two seventy and this one expires August 4th as well and Tesla is expected to report earnings and as we've seen the deliveries are up and everything so they should report some good earnings not sure if it's priced into the stock or not but let's hope that Tesla does not go below 270 and uh, 265 so the break even on these put credit spreads is it takes the middle so between 270 and 265 which is 267.79 so basically we just can't let this go below this and if it does then I'll sell out of the position at a loss so that was that I also sold my Shopify option I can go into um, my history and show you that but that one I sold for I think a few hundred dollar gain and that's why I'm up today I locked in some of that profit I think shop let's take a look let's go on to Shopify they're up pretty big today yeah 5.58 percent and I think I sold it around 9.55 a.m. let's look scroll down here so this yeah I sold at 600 so if we show more I bought it for 410 and sold it for 600 so that, so that was a nice gain and um, I wanted to lock in those profits because I never know what's going to happen you know earnings could go sideways and stuff bad things could happen you never went broke taking a profit so that's what I did there and then we did sell out of Airbnb yesterday um, which was a good idea I think in my opinion I took like a hundred percent gain on this call option but we got back in and we did kind of more of a safe play I took my profits and put it back into this so we have two hundred seventy nine dollars to gain if Airbnb stays above 139 and this one expires 825 so we have more than a month for this to happen and um, let's see how many I don't know how many I have of these I think I have um, oh three so three so I have six hundred dollars in collateral to make 276 so that's about a 40 percent return if we uh, if Airbnb stays above what was it 139 and I hope I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be earnings which is a good thing and we want that stock to go up so that's the update episode 2 of my portfolio up 16 percent so far and by the end of the day that could change you know I could be down by the end of the day you never know which way the options are gonna go but I think uh, pretty good so far what we're doing here um, past three months up 92 percent over twenty five hundred dollars and uh, it'll continue to grow as I make more trades and upload more episodes videos so if you guys did enjoy this little update let me know what you think and uh, leave a like on the video and I'll see you guys in the next episode